Helping tonight, three students at Bishop Snyder High School have been expelled. Two are facing felonies after racist messages and threats in a group chat were sent to another student. This is Action News Jax at 10. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. Action News Jax Ben Ryan is outside of JSO headquarters for us tonight. Ben, the victim's father sent you a statement about the arrest a short time ago. And John Tanika, like you guys just said, three of those students not returning to the school, two of which are facing those felony charges. This all happened within a span of 24 hours when we first told you about this on Monday. And that father says he is glad that these threats aren't taken lightly. Three Bishop John J. Snyder students have been expelled and two are now facing felony charges after being accused of sending racist messages and threats to another student online. It comes after messages like these were sent in a Snapchat group chat. They would quote Black Hawk down his residence. One sent a photo holding a firearm saying 10 V1 and another student is then seen referencing the nickname of the student and suggesting that he's dead. Corker Wimberly is the victim's father and sent us this statement regarding the arrest saying quote I empathize with the parents. Kids do crazy things, but for every action, there is a reaction. For me, I have to protect my family, so we definitely can feel a little safer tonight because threats are not taken lightly. Action News Jack's law and safety expert Dale Carson, a criminal defense attorney with years of experience in law enforcement, said people need to think twice before sending anything online. A felony charge against anyone is a serious injury to their ability to seek employment later and they have an effect on you for essentially the rest of your life. Just the mere charge. Of course, the conviction can mean that you go away and are in custody for some period of time. The school said in a statement, quote, the Catholic Church vehemently opposes racism and has been combating this evil for decades. The Diocese of St. Augustine continue to minister and collaborate with our school to combat racism and bring peace to our community. And our law and safety expert Dale Carson said that things like this typically worked out in the juvenile courts, saying that if convicted, there would certainly be a punishment, one of which would be helping those students get back on the right track. Now, coming up at 11 here on Action News Jax, what the, uh, what the victim's father has in a message to everyone involved. For local coverage, you can count on. I'm Ben Ryan, Action News Jax.